starting with the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. My name is Amar Gulawan and our group is here to represent the national languages of Pakistan. My topic is Urdu language. As everyone knows, Urdu language is national language and also known as Lashkari language of Pakistan. Many poet plays an important role in development of Urdu language. First of all, I would like to introduce John Elia. John Elia was famous for a great philosopher, biographer, poet and scholar from South Asia who migrated from India to Pakistan. John Elia was also known as Sayyid Hussain John Askar Nakvi and he wrote two famous books. The first one includes Shayad and second one includes Main Jo Hoon John Elia Hoon. On the other hand, Alama Iqbal wrote many books and he contributed to Urdu literature and Pakistan. Alama Iqbal who later came to know as a poet of East, Shaira Mushrik, made various contributions to Urdu literature and formation of Pakistan. Alama Iqbal was not the first person to represent the idea of a separate country for a Muslim of the subcontinent. However, his poetry played a great part in spreading awareness about Islam, need of separate country for follower and for itself. Lama Iqbal wrote various notable verse books in Urdu and Persian language, some of which are as follows. Israr e Khudi, Bhange Dara, Payam e Mashriq and Bale Jibrail. Lama Iqbal wrote many verses and books. The famous verse include कि मुहम्मद से वफा तूने तो हम तेरे हैं ये जहां चीज है क्या लोहो कलम तेरे हैं उर्दू इज एन ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड इट इज आल्सो कंसीडर्ड ऑफिशियल इन सम स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इट हैज रिच हेरिटेज ऑफ प्रोज एंड पोएट्री दैट वाज रिटन इन 17 एंड 19 सेंचुरीज Urdu is considered the most important language of communication in India and Pakistan. Urdu started developing in North India around Delhi in the 12th century. It was based on the language spoken in the region around Delhi and it was heavily influenced by Arabic, Persian as well as Turkish. Urdu is also known as Lashkari, the Lashkari language of Pakistan. According to the study conducted by neuroscientists, the front portion of brain is activated by reading which help to improve your decision making capacity and tends to sharpen your analytical skills Mauli Abdul Haq Mauli Abdul Haq was a great scholar and he was known as Baba e Urdu means father of Urdu and he was great champion of Urdu language and demanded it to make the national language of Pakistan Urdu literature show the synthesis between the Islamic and Indian traditions Language is a vital part of human com- connection. Although all species have their ways of communication, humans are only that have the uh, language communication. Language allow us to share our ideas, thoughts, and feeling with others. It has to power to build societies, but also tear them down. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my name is Abdullah Naeem Khan today the part of my presentation is about the Punjabi language so i will give you a brief introduction about what actually Punjabi language is and where it came from Punjabi is spoken in largest province according to the population of Pakistan there are so many sufi poets such as waris shah baba farid gan shakkar and baba bulle shah Punjabis had played important role in Pakistan movement. Punjabi was introduced as an optional subject as well as there was research activities held in University of Punjab located in city of Lahore. 
Okay, prominent poets and writer was encouraged to use Punjabi by giving them awards for their work and writing in Punjabi language. The poets were Munir Niazi and Habib Jalib. Some newspapers was published in Punjabi from Lahore and one of them was Daily Sajan that was published in 1980. As you can see the picture on screen. So I will tell you about one of the famous poet Munir Ahmad Niazi. Munir Ahmad Niazi was born on 9 April 1928. He was Punjabi and Urdu poet from Pakistan. He also wrote for newspaper, magazines and radios. In 1960, he established a publication institute Al Misal. He was later associated with Pakistan television Lahore and lived in Lahore till his, uh, till his death. Munir Niazi died of respiratory illness on 26 December 2006 in Lahore, Pakistan. One of his famous lines in Punjabi are Kuch inj virawa okhiyan san, kuch gal vich ghamda tok visi, kuch chehar de lok vizalim san, kuch sanu maran da shok visi. Now I will tell you about the three main dialects of Punjabi language. Number one is Maji Punjabi, number two is Dwabi Punjabi, and in last there is Malvi Punjabi. Maji dialect of Punjabi language is spoken in the heart of Punjab, where most of the Punjabi population lives. The Maji dialects, the dialect of historical region of Majha, spans the Lahore, Kasur, Okada, Gujranwala, Wazirabad, Sialkot, Narowal, and Gujarat. And second dialect is Dwabi dialect. Dwabi dialect is spoken in India, Punjab. The word Dwabi means the land between two rivers and this dialect is spoken between the river of Bias and Satilaj. It includes Jalindhar, Nawanshur, Katputhala and Hoshiarpur district. And in last is Malvi dialect. Malvi dialect is spoken in the eastern part of Indian Punjab. Main areas are Luthiana, Parit Kot, Ferozpur and Fatehgarh Sahib. Some of the other dialects are Patwari Punjabi. The Patwari dialect is spoken in the northern area of Pakistani Punjab. It extends in the north from Muzaffarabad to as far south Jhelum, Ujjar Khan, Rawalpindi, Murray Hills, and east to Bhimbar, Punji is east of Rawla Kot. Patwari is in the plains around Rawalpindi. And some other are Hindko, Punjabi, etc. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Isha and I am going to tell you about one of the regional language of Pakistan that is Sindhi. Well viewers, other than Punjabi, there was sudden other regional languages which should be promoted in 1947 onward and one of them was Sindhi as a regional language. The first thing that will be related with Sindhi as a second largest province of Pakistan and Sindhi is the language of this province. The second thing that the literature of Sindh is closely linked with Islam as it is the first regional language that have adopted the Arabic script due to the arrival of Arabs Muslim in Sindh in 712 AD. There were sudden steps which would be taken by the government to promote this language. 
नंबर वन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिंधियोलॉजी इन हैदराबाद यूनिवर्सिटी विच इज़ बीइंग क्रिएटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट अदर बॉडीज इंक्लूड बजम तालबुल मौला द थर्ड वन इज सचल सरमस एकेडमी एंड एन अदर बॉडी इंक्लूड द सिंधी लिटरेचर बोर्ड दीज आर फ्यू स्टेप्स विच आर बींग टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट एज वी सेड इन द सेकेंड कॉन्टेंट डेट दिस लिटरेचर इज क्लोजली लिंक विद इस्लाम दिस एग्जाम्पल इज बींग गिवन इन द सेकेंड कॉन्टेंट डेट Arabic script is somehow adopted due to the arrival of the Arab Muslim in Sindh in 712 AD that's why Sindh literature is somehow closely linked with Islam next one is that its literary treasure comprises such poets such as Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai and such as Sir Mast who prominent poets which are being rewarded another very important content over here is related with one of the politician of pakistan belongs to the people's party that is zulfikar ali bhutto under the language will in 1972 zulfikar ali bhutto declared this language as a second national language of sindh along with the urdu as urdu is being given in the title of the national language of pakistan so he declared as the national language of sindh along with urdu the last content we need to add over here will be the prominent writers such as peer mohammad rashidi who were being awarded by the government just because of writing on this language sindhi The first thing that will be related with Sindh as the second largest province of Pakistan in Sindhi is the language of this province. The second thing, the literature of Sindhi is closely related with Islam as it is the first regional language that have adopted the Arabic script due to the arrival of Arabs Muslim in Sindh in 712 AD. There were certain steps which will be taken by the government to promote this language. Number 1 the department of sindhology in hyderabad university which is being created by the government other bodies include bazme talbul mola the third one is the sachal sarmast academy and another body include the sindhi literature board these are few steps which are being taken by the government as we said in the second content that this literature is closely linked with islam this example is being given in the second content that Arabic script is somehow adopted due to the arrival of the Arabs Muslim in Sindh in 712 AD that's why Sindh literature is somehow closely linked with Islam पाकिस्तान के शुमाली इलाका जा असलम एवरी वन मई नेम इज मोहम्मद अताउर रहमान टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द बलोचिस्तान लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस लैंग्वेज इज द लीस्ट डेवलपमेंट अमंग ऑफ ऑल लैंग्वेज नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट बलोचिस्तान इज अ प्रोविंस सो बलोचिस्तान इज वन ऑफ द प्रोविंस विच वन विच वॉज लेस्ट डेवलप्ड एंड लेस्ट पॉपुलेटेड प्रोविंस so baloch's language was least developed of all other languages the second thing is that the literatures of balochistan was mainly in the form of oral traditions after that the universities of karachi along with dresho with the center of karachi there are one which promoted balochi as a regional language right after the independence of pakistan the establishment of quetta tv center which promoted this language by electronic media at that time another thing we will be promoted poets mean the famous poets who work on this languages of balochi atasha gul khan nazir few of the famous poets of balochi as other language the next one is balochi literacy literacy association which set up by government of pakistan at that time 
to promote Balochi as a regional language. Balochi as a written language has mainly been limited to Pakistan where Koita and Karachi soon developed into the two main centers of Balochi literary activities. In Iran, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan and the Gulf state, Balochi is still basically an oral language, despite sporadic attempts at writing and publications. Balochi thus has a very short tradition of writing the works written in 19th and early 20th centuries by Englishmen or in Roman scripts. The orthography used today by the Baloch in Pakistan is based on the Arabic script with Persian Urdu conventions. Baloch Balochi was more widely spoken in the 19th and early 20th century than nowadays. Especially in Punjab and Sindh, there are today many peoples who recognize themselves as Baloch but speak an Indian language. There are also Baloch both in Gulf state and in the East Africa who have switched from our speaking Balochi to speaking and writing Arabic and Swahili respectively. Education in Baloch speaking areas is invariably in a second language, namely in Urdu, English. Christians, Iran, and Afghanistan. Baloch are also to be found in Iranian diaspora after the Islamic revelation. Thus, a limited number of mainly well educated Baloch live in several European countries, the USA, Canada, and other countries where Iranians have taken revenge. This can easily be seen in the lack of the standard written norm of the language. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ubaid Daniel, and I am going to tell you about one of the regional language of Pakistan, that is Pashto. Right after Sindhi and Balochi, another regional language of Pakistan is Pashto. This language is spoken in one of the provinces of Pakistan, that is Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Its literature contains the resistance against the foreign rulers that we can see in the poetry of these two prominent poets. Kushal Khan Khatak and Rahman Baba. After 1947, the University of Peshawar and Islamia College promoted Pashto as a language. In 1954, an academy was set up to promote Pashto as a language. The very first dictionary was compiled right after the few years of independence of Pakistan. Absin Art Council, a Pashto theater, which also promoted Pashto language through theater. Scholars have found it difficult to reach consensus regarding specific claims about the Pashto's origin. Nonetheless, it is clear that the speech community location in a contested part of the world instigated extensive contact with borrowing from other languages, including varieties of ancient Greek, Saka, and Persian. Pashto also converged with the Northwestern Indian languages, especially the Prakrits, Balochi, and Sindhi. From these languages, Pashto acquired retroflex sounds, sounds that are produced with the tip of the tongue curled against the roof of the mouth, and approximately 5,550 loan words.
The dialects of Pashto fall into two main divisions, the southern, which preserves the ancient sh and z sounds, and the northern, which uses h and g sounds instead. Aspirates sound accompanied by an audible breath are common to most of Pashto's neighboring Indo-Aryan languages, but are uncommon in Pashto. The slight changes that donate, that donate loan words from the Prakrits, Sindhi and Balochi are quite easy to identify. For instance, Gari, a cart, in Sindhi is written as Gari, in Hindi and Gadai in Pashto. Likewise, the term for male buffalo is rendered as Sand, in Hindi and Sar in Pashto. A number of words are identical in Hindi, Sindhi, Pashto, including Sarak, a road, Peda, a sweet, and Khidki, a window. Pashto is also spelled Pashto and it is also called Pakhto, member of the Iranian division of Indo-Iranian group of Indo-European languages. Extensive borrowing has caused Pashto to share many features of the Indo-Aryan group of the Indo-European languages as well. Originally spoken by the Pashtun people, Pashto became the national language of Pakistan in 1936. It is spoken by more than 35 million people, most of whom reside in Afghanistan or Pakistan. Small speech communities exist in Iran, Tajikistan, the United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. Thank you so much.